got no flowers to grow But it feels so good when you want me Baby, I feel so good when you know When you know
sunshine, we don't belong here. We got no flowers to grow, but it feels so good when you want me, baby. I feel so good when you know, when you know. Welcome to episode number two 
of the ND Unit podcast. Um, yeah, we got West here today. Called me in for help. I don't know what I don't know what side he's on. Um, but... To your <laughs> bottom left, and you're up there. There you are. No, the wrong way. All right, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, episode two. Yeah. Um, if you didn't know already, we're going to be speaking to Ryan from State Champs today. Um, good friend of the band. Good dude. Him and West in particular have a special friendship connection. Um, but yeah, if you don't know what these podcasts are, we wanted to start these as like a, a type of industry hour kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's beneficial for musicians and artists, but I'm sure it's interesting for everyone. I got some good feedback last week from people who I didn't expect to watch. I'm like, oh, that was cool. That was interesting. That was an interesting dude. Um, but yeah, that's why I want to try and benefit from these. But um, But yeah. How do you, is this is this the first? I mean, this is probably only the second podcast I've done, Wes. But is this the first official one you've done, or have you done? You've done you've done a couple other podcasts before, right? I think I've done a couple, but not many. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we get on with this one. Let's get him in. And now, get and that now mic hosting. unmuted, Ryan. Go on then. Here's here's oh, his, hey, here he is. His, here he is, Ryan from State Champs. Nice there. What's up, boys? Oh, there we go. It worked. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> boys, how are you? Yeah, not bad. Not Good. bad. This is this is the part where we pretend we weren't talking for ten to fifteen before, yeah, and it's so always like, "How are you? How are you doing?" Yeah, it's like <laughs> but... I know very well how you are and what you've done all day today. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you didn't know what I had for breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? I had a pear. A oh, pear. Nice. <laughs> Switching <laughs> up. A pear. <laughs> didn't expect I that. Was, I was craving it. Just one singular pear when you woke up yeah. this morning. Couldn't well, see that. It was nice. It was yeah. nice. It was, nice and refreshing. Perfect, perfectly ripe. Yes, it was refreshing. Uh, I had a what was it a cha- What was it a change from? I've been doing oatmeal decently, a, a decent amount lately. Ooh. It's not. It's not very fun. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry if you were expecting fair. something better than that. But. <laughs> so how are you doing anyway? How are you? How are you keeping yourself busy in these crazy times? Not that there's any. This is us opening another kind of words. Not that there's any need to be busy during these times, but how are you yeah. kind of keeping keeping positive and keeping going? I mean, realistically, I feel like the only way for me to feel positive or feel like you know a semblance of of normalcy, I guess, in this is is to just kind of like do what I do, and that's just write music. So I've been trying to write a song a day. Or at least like get an idea down a day. Um, if I don't, you know, like it's it's not the end of the world. But that's kind of what has kept me like my mind sharp, I think. And then I've been exercising a little bit lately, riding my bike. Mm. Uh, so yeah, changed man. <laughs> Nothing crazy. I started Lost. I started watching Lost with my girlfriend. I've never seen it. See, I feel like that is a show that you would love, Wes. I can't it. believe you haven't seen it. I saw season one. I'm lying, actually. I saw season one, and then I just didn't care and didn't carry on with it, which is weird. Well, it was an anime, so... Fair point. I've been watching the <laughs> Michael Jordan documentary on Netflix. It's You've sick. Seen that, right? It's really I good. I haven't seen it yet, but I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it. It's good. It's good. He's, he's kind of an arsehole. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't expect it, like... He wanted to win a lot, well, all yeah. the time, and he would like say anything to try and get anyone like pepped up to like get winning with him. But I don't know, like sometimes like a bit harsh that. Well, mm, no one can say shit know. to him because he's Michael Jordan. <laughs> he's the leader, though. You know, yeah. I feel like sometimes people who have that leadership ability or quality, like you never know. You never know how actually harsh they are, but they are the perfectionist. They're the person who wants to win. They want it so bad. Well, his teammate, his teammate said like, yeah, he can like, he, I really hated him sometimes and he could be unbearable, but like he was a great teammate and he made sure, sure that we, we won and he, he did it for all the right reasons sort of thing. Right. Yeah. I want to watch it when I'm, well, there's six seasons of loss. I was just going to say when I finish loss, I don't know when I'm going to finish that. So how many episodes are in a season? It's not like five or six, is it? It's a lot. No, it's like 20 plus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. No, I'm good. What are you watching yeah. it on? Or have you bought the box set? No, it's, it's on Hulu. I think. Oh, we don't get that over here. Yeah. So, so you say, you say you're writing every day is, have you always wrote every day? Like you seem, you've always been involved in musical, like for a long time, you've been involved in bands and stuff like that. I want to touch on a little bit, but like, 
we are you all have you always been writing songs just constantly like i always see songwriting like to the extent you're doing it it's like every day it's kind of like going to the gym in a sense but is this something you've always done and like consciously made an effort towards even if you didn't really want to write or is it something that's kind of just happened over the over the years it was actually more of a challenge that i i kind of like gave to myself when all this started happening so Mm -hmm. back back in march you know i said if we're gonna be in all day every day I need to like I need to, I personally need to make the most of it and I'm sure West you can attest to this being on tour is really difficult to like do anything else than other than just being on tour yeah. like being creative and I saw you guys do it on, in 2014 warp tour when I would come to your bus and I would see you guys writing for a record and I was just like dude I can't I'm not focused for this so for me, being on tour, it's really hard to write music. You know, you're playing it, and then, you know, if you're doing a meet and greet or you're doing all these, you know, sound check and all these other things, and you're in a new city and you want to do uh, your own personal things, I feel like being, being creative is kind of the last thing on my mind. So yeah. when I was like, oh, I have this extra time, or well, realistically, I had this time that I always had, but I just didn't think of it that way. Uh, I've made the challenge to myself, like, let's try to do a song a day or at least an idea a day just to stay sharp and have something to show like on the other end of it, you know. And they're very good, by the way. I do enjoy those clips a lot. It drives Thanks, me man. insane seeing it every day being like, I don't understand how you can fucking write a decent idea literally every single day for the amount of time that you have been. I'll sit here for about an hour and a half and be like, but you got nothing today. I don't want anyone to hear that. I definitely have those days, and then, so if you don't see a video from me, you'll know that I had one of those days. And I know you've been but... screaming if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I did break a string yesterday, so I'm, I'm pretty pissed off about that, but, um, yeah, I, I, like, I don't think I had ever really done it before, you know, I try to write as much as I can when I have my free time, but... I, I opened up a Cameo account, and so instead of like giving people the personalized shout-outs, which I just wasn't really interested in doing that, I yeah. said, I'll write you a song. Oh. And for me, that, that kind of was like a really good idea as far as a, like a writing prompt. I would say, just give me a note, like whatever's going on in your life or whatever you want me to write about, I'll, I'll write it. And so it's cool to, have, to, to kind of think about things from somebody else's perspective mm. and also want to give them a quality product like i don't want to just sit there and just write like a throwaway song and just be like here's your song i sit down for a couple hours a few hours and say if i write a good song and a good song comes out of this it's not just for cameo like i might Mm -hmm. use it for a speak low song like i might use it for something else because it's a song you know so i try to look at royalties (laughs) well (laughs) I look at them as like the they they paid for it already. So, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I was gonna ask if you think it had helped doing it so much, but obviously it has. Like the more the more output you have, the more chance of you finding something that you're like, oh, that's really cool, and that wouldn't have happened yes. if I hadn't have forced myself to do this all the time. It is kind of that way. It, I, like you know, I don't want to think of it as work because I l- absolutely love to do it. It's it's you know, what I think as corny as it sounds, it's like my purpose in life was to, to make music. I really think that. And, but you know, when I force myself to do it, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of working, you know, coming mm-hmm. up with different chord structures and, and melodies. And mm-hmm. just, I think, I think it's sharpened me more than anything. Like I think they're, the, the ideas are kind of actually getting better as the day goes on. So it's, it's been fun. Sweet. It's been fun saying it yeah definitely Every, everyone benefits from it like everyone there's no like downside to doing what you're doing it's all all pros sure um so i want to talk to you a little bit about good luck varsity <laughs> that was happening did you <laughs> yeah we, we so like was, so so was was good luck varsity your first real real band like touring and like selling cds and stuff I was in one band before Good Luck Varsity. I was in a band called The Dry Leaf Project. And uh, that was actually kind of, yeah, that was my first experience, like playing out, writing my own original songs. And it started the same way as Speak Low. It's just, you know, acoustic guitar in my room. 
and then it kind of evolved into a, a full band. So I think we only did one or two tours, and one of them was like a weekend tour. So it wasn't really anything. But yeah, Good Luck Varsity was my first band who, you know, where we went for it. You know, we pressed mm -hmm. CDs and we did multiple cross country tours. And it was kind of a full time DIY thing back when that was like kind of thriving. The DIY scene was, was really thriving like that. Well, this we, is, yeah. we did not thrive, but <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what I wanted to, I wanted to ask you about. It was like, I mean, it's, it's how long's a piece of string to a degree, but like how, how different was it then? Like, it sounds like I'm talking about like olden times. It sounds like I'm talking about like you're in a war or something like how different <laughs> was it then? But like in terms of like promo 